Hey loves, so unfortunately I accidentally erased the first portion of this video with the introduction to the hair. So the hair is from Miss Cote's Hair Empire .com, and this is three bundles of 20 inch Brazilian body wave. The hair actually came like this already pre-colored gray and it also came with a closure. I do believe it's 16 inches. It's a really soft hair texture so I went ahead and made a full closure unit as usual and let's begin the video hey love so i finally finished the unit i always say i finally finished but i did i finished it in like one day not 24 hours but like five hours and i washed it deep conditioned it and so forth let me tell you i tried to be really cheap at first when i conditioned it by using some vo5 hair conditioner that i purchased at the dollar store i just wanted to give it a try to see if it worked just as well as the expensive stuff so I let that VO5 conditioner, and it was like the moisturizing one, and I'll show it to you guys. I let it sit for about 20 minutes in the hair, and when I went back to rinse it out, it kind of felt kind of dry and hard. It didn't feel soft, it felt really, really hard. So therefore, that was like a waste of my time. Um, it really wasn't a waste, at least I know now that the conditioner is not that great. So it really does depend on what you pay for. Some items that you buy, like from the stores, that are really cheap, like Herbal Essence and... OGX, those are really good conditioners. Even though they're not expensive, they're a little bit more pricier than like the VO5 or the Swab. Um, I've tried Swab too, and it still gave like this really, really dry, dull feeling. Originally, I did use this, which was the Moisture Milks VO5 Long Lasting Fragrance Passion Fruit Smoothie with Soy Milk Protein um, Moisturizing Conditioner. It was only a dollar, so it's nothing lost. Um, I can shampoo my dog's hair. And condition it with that and he'll be fine so what I used after that because it didn't work was this here which is the super nourishing argon oil mask hair treatment um, this here I use this and let me tell you guys you don't need a lot of it you I let it sit in for like it says 5 to 20 minutes so I put this in the hair it gave it such a great low luster softness feel texture it was really a lot easier to comb through and the ends that were dry were a little bit dry they came out actually really, really great um, with this. So this is a deep conditioner for softer, softer, silkier, and healthier hair. And this you can pick up on Amazon. This is the eight full ounce um, jar. And I like this a lot. Um, I do put some of this in a lot of my units, but I did try to be a little bit cheap this time because sometimes I don't want to use all my good stuff. This has like natural products in it and it is by Pure Lux LLC, which is in Houston, purebodynaturals.com. But you can pick this up from Amazon, and I will post the information for this below. But it does have a really nice texture to it. We'll suggest this hair, and it does have a great scent to it as well. So, yes, you guys, the Argon Hair Oil Mask. And I'll post the information for this below. Along with that, just to be on the safe side, I used one of my favorite, which is Gorge. This is I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. I only use this when the hair is damp and I've already conditioned it. I'll spray this in the hair because this is for like over-processed, over-colorized, just over-treated hair. And it really does give you a little bit more volume, but it brings back the hair. The last purple and gray wig that I did, it was very, very dry, like overly dry. And I sprayed enough of this in it, and it actually gave it its life back after I trimmed some of the ends, too. Some things you just can't work with. Um, you have to kind of, like, trim the ends off. But with this here, this is a really great product, and you can get $20 off if you use the code BC20. And I'll post it below. This little bottle right here is $20. So, um, yeah. $20 on the website but I'm telling you guys you don't need to use this every day it does say a daily spray but I don't I don't use it every day as for the wig and how it came out as normal I always post it or post it sew it on a dome cap um, um, as for the actual colors right here this is where the closure is at um, so you do see like the lines of demarcation from the actual bundle hair underneath it right here and I think it has a lot to do with the way I have the hair parted. I really didn't know what to do with this wig, meaning am I going to wear it long? Am I going to cut it? And I decided I'm going to probably cut it. We'll see. I love combs in my cap, so that is where what is installed on them and as the norm. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to use is my Beauty Treats Concealer Palette to apply the concealer to the inner portion of the cap. So I went ahead and applied enough just in case I want to move the part over a little bit. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and do the same with the outside. Okay, so let's get started. I've already went ahead and put some concealer in the inside as well as the outside 
just to make my closure just look seamless i do like my part on the left side now so i went ahead and gave it a curved part i'm just going to take some of my hair and this is going to be my leave out because i don't want the wig like sitting right on my hairline i want it to kind of like blend in so you really don't see it but before i even kind of like style the wig i'm just going to brush this hair and basically get it ready because i will be giving this some layers so the hair I can't believe I actually deleted the first portion of the video um, so yeah the hair came to me in this cute bag and it was 320 inch bundles of body wave Brazilian body wave the roots were already darkened um, and as well as the closure now I will tell you I'm not like a huge fan of all like the dark portions like that's a little bit too much darkness for me I don't like a lot of like dark roots I just like a little bit very minimal so that way it looks like it grew out a little bit so for me I think the darkness could have been done a little bit better or the dye job could have been done a little bit better other than that the hair is really soft and I do like it it's something different it's gray y'all it's like gray so anyway as you see I'm just giving it short layers I'm just layering it taking the length off because I'm gonna make this into a kind of like loose bob or what have you not a short bob medium bob I don't even really know what to call it but you know I'm just gonna give it some type of style I wanted to try something different And I'm going to do the same to the opposite side now. Just cutting it into some, kind of like some layers, but I want it like a short length or kind of like a medium length, you know. And I'm just going to even out the hair. The hair is really soft. I did deep condition it and it came out really soft. And it kind of gives, it's very flowy. So now what you see me doing is I'm just using my razor comb just to kind of give the hair a little bit extra layers and kind of like, I don't want a blunt cut so I'm trying to like shag it a little bit which will give it a little bit more volume. Now I'm going to just, oh, well, yeah, I burnt the heck out of my shoulder, y'all, for real, oh my God, and I got the battle wound to prove it, and <laughs> so I'm just going to use that curling wand that I burnt myself with, and just go ahead and put some loose weight okay, in Okay, ladies, this. so here it goes, let me tell you, first of all, you've seen the trials and tribulations, I burnt the heck out of my shoulder with that curling wand oh my god but that's the reason why i had to put on a mannequin head because the hair was short and i said you know what let me just make it easier for myself and put this on a mannequin head because i am not about to burn myself up i burned my hand my shoulder like ugh. it was like a battle this was like a war battle but anyway so it came out rather cute um because i did cut it and i like it like this like i'm not like a huge fan of all these funky colors but i do try to do different things and for the most part i decided to do this gray short because i just decided that it would look best i was going to keep it long because it was all 320 inch bundles but i just wanted to do something totally different and give it like a loose wave kind of like bob and it came out really cute I did actually go, to, I, take, I took it off and recut it again because it was kind of like a little bit too long in the back. But for the most part, the hair is really pretty. The one thing I'm just not like a huge fan of is I don't like so much dark roots. Like I like very minimal dark roots. But other than that, the hair is really soft for it to be dyed and bleached. So I'll post all the information for you guys below for the website of where you can pick up this hair, which is already great for you. You don't have to do anything. And if you want to add a little bit of color on the ends, you can. So on that note, stay Stay Diva and Divalicious. Stay, um, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video.